Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are opening up some Digimon TCG product. We have a new Battle of Omni box that is coming out this week. I was a little bit lucky to be able to open one a little bit earlier. Um, we are going to be doing two boxes, so this is going to be the first video where we open one, then we'll open up the second one on a separate video. So let's go ahead, crack open our battle of omni box and there are a lot of good cards in here especially like the new white tamers i feel like are super cool um we got omnimon zord in here so lots of new things new decks to build out of this and i feel like it actually changes the other good decks that are out right now especially with like the lilithmon loop gonna be a super big thing with omnimon zord so let's go ahead open up the box see what our box topper is we're hoping for the nokia but let's see Ah, no, instead we get the Sora and the Joe Keto. So this is going to be at the start of your turn. If your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution cards in play, gain two memory. So very, very consistent with the blue build. And then your turn, when you attack with a blue Digimon, you may suspend this team to trash up to two Digivolution cards from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. So D... Getting rid of those Digivolution sources, I haven't really seen that too much as a strategy, um, so I don't think this is going to really see a lot of play at the current moment. Maybe in future sets, they're going to focus more on getting that removal, but as of right now, I just don't see it too much or at least consistent enough for it to be considered a really good play. Well, let's go ahead and open up our Battle of Omni box. It looks like this is one of, well, they started with a Great Legend where the pack art was the same throughout. So it looks like we're sticking with this, not being able to get the uh, the BT1 and BT1.5. I'm sorry, not BT, I'm sorry. Set 1.0 and Set 1.5 where there's multiple artworks. All right, we started off with a Vajramon. Then we've got a Cubimon. This is actually another cool thing about this set. It's got the Tamers Digimon in here. We've got a Commandramon. This is going to be a very interesting deck moving forward, the D-Brigade deck. The Mori Shellmon and Agumon. This is a really good new red Agumon. Reveal three cards from the top of your deck on play. Add one Digimon card with Greymon in its name either uh, other than Doru Greymon, Burning Greymon, or Dex Doru Greymon, and one Digimon card with Omnimon in its name among them and add them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. Really, really good. I really like these cards where it's like, look it up the, to the top of X amount of cards, and then once you do add to hand, it's just a nice plus there. Uh, we've got a purple option card, Demonic Disaster. On the main turn, you may delete one of your Digimon to unsuspend one of your purple Digimon. And then security effect, you may play one level 3 purple Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. Any on-play effects do not activate. Purple, the option heavy deck. Super cool to see more coming in. We've got Shooting Starmon. Coromon. Ooh, what does this one do actually? When attacking once per turn, if this Digimon has Omnimon or Greymon, other than the Dora Greymon, Burning Greymon, or Dex Dora Greymon in its name, trigger draw one. Always good, because I feel like Red is one of those decks where you kind of struggle to draw cards a little bit. All right, I think we've got, so first of all, we open up to a Sora and a Joe to go with our box topper promo, and I think we have an SR here. Nope. Did we open two rares? Oh, the Waru Monzamon is indeed a rare. I was like, wait a minute. This looks kind of shiny, but it was not. It was just the memory counter. All right, see, now we can't hype ourselves up like that. So let's just remove the memory car uh, counter from the back immediately so we don't run into that again. Super cool mechanic that they got going with this one. It is going to be black and white. Super awesome looking. All right, we got a Star Starmons. Starmons with an S. Are there multiple Starmon on here? There are. It looks like there's multiple Starmon on there. All right, we got the Starmon, the Kurisarimon. A Taumon, again, going to Tamers. What is it? Uh, inheritable. All of your opponents, or all of your opponent's security Digimon get minus 1,000 DP. I feel like that's not going to be seen too often, um, unless you're, I don't know, with jamming as a thing, I don't really see it being too much of a mechanic, but we'll, we'll see how it all works out. I'm looking to see, uh, I'm looking forward to see how this all works out in future sets. We got the Shoutmon here, a Shoutmon deck, super new stuff. We've got the Transcendent Sword. What does this do? This is actually my first time seeing some of these Battle of Omni cards, so bear with me as I go through some of these here. A uh, Transcendent Sword on your main turn. It is a seven cost red option card. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 11,000 DP or less. If you have a Digimon in play with Omnimon or Greymon, other than those three mentioned earlier in its name, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 15,000 DP or less instead. All right, so another removal card, but unfortunately, when you have Transcendent Sword, when you compare it to something like 
Gaia Force, it's like, I don't know. That one memory, important, but I don't know how important that is. All right, we have our first white option card, all delete. On the main effect, you pay 10. You may return one of your Digimon with Omnimon in its name to its owner's hand to delete all Digimon and Hamers. Trash all the Digivolution cards of the Digimon you return with this effect. This is literally a reset. This is a full-on reset card. Wow, for 10. This is like, you have no idea what you're doing. Ooh, we start off with not one of the best SRs, but Tactamon. It's going to be a purple level 6. When attacking, activate one of the effects below. If you have no other Digimon in play, activate all of the effects instead. Gain one memory. This Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP for the turn. And delete up to three of your opponent's level 3 Digimon. So again, not the best level six, at least not of the one, not one of the ones that I've seen a lot. Uh, but there's always the best part about Digimon is that there's always a way to make the decks that you like work out. Um, they might not be the best meta decks, but nevertheless, if you really like the card, you will make it work. So starting off our box with the first SR, I believe of what is either six or seven plus the alternate and um, the secret. All right, let's move this through, through a little bit faster. We have the Diramon. I actually should be reading some of these a little bit more, uh, simply because I don't know too much about the Battle of Omni set. And one of the nice things about Digimon, in my opinion, is that uh, you can make use of the rares, the commons, the uncommons, because, ooh, Nightmon can be very important for the Lord Nightmon deck. Um, but it's good to see that rares and uncommons... Ooh, Pikmon. Wait, let me read this one, because I've heard about this card. Uh, level 2, this is your baby. When attacking, you have three... If you have three or more Digimon in play, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1,000 DP for the turn. Okay, so another DP reduction card associated with yellow. Um, but yes, I do like how the... How the commons, uncommons, the rares, they all play into a deck. It's not just all the SRs that are building traction in the deck. Alright, we have our first rare, War Greymon. Level 6 red card, uh, when digivolving, if a Digimon with Greymon in its name other than Dory Greymon, Burning Greymon, or Dexter Greymon is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with Blocker. Okay, so a nice way of getting rid of extra cards. And then we've got the Izzy Izumi and Mimi Tachikawa. So I think this is really interesting how they're just like, alright, how do we, uh, <laughs> how do we get more use out of, uh, using Season 1 stuff, right? Alright, let's just, let's just make combination. Let's make combination uh, tamers now. All right, we got the Monochromon. We have the Morishelmon. The Mechanor... Oh, man. Mechanorimon. <laughs> we have the Paledramon. Agumon, the good Agumon that I like. The Ultimate Flare card. Gladimon. You can't actually fly? That's so mean. <laughs> um, this is a cost three green card. On your main turn, or on your main phase, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then, if your opponent has a level 7 Digimon in play, trash the top card of their security stack. This is actually kind of interesting, because cards that remove from the security stack are actually, I feel like, really important for when facing yellow decks. We have a Gigimon, Black War, Gr uh, War Growlmon, and, ooh, Omnimon Swart Defeat. This is our secret for the box. Let's go ahead and... And sleeve that up. Let me take another look at this one because I haven't read too much on Zwart Defeat. All right, what does this do here? So, security, play this card without battling. Wait, security, play this card without battling and without paying its memory cost. So, you literally just get to play it off of security. That's pretty good. Uh, when Digivolving, delete one of your opponent's tamers and on deletion, delete one of your opponent's Digimon. So, I don't think this is going to be the best secret in the set. Um, I think that effect is okay, but it is a level 7, meaning that number 1, it replaces whatever your current level 7 is. So, that's like Omnimon Zword. That's going to be Omnimon with Blitz. Um, so, I'm not really sure if that was really the best level 7 to get as my secret, but it is an Omnimon. I still think it's super cool looking, and uh, again, I am not the best Digimon player. I really just think the cards are super cool. I love collecting them. Um, so if anyone on the comments wants to talk to me a little bit more about Omnimon's War Defeat, let me know what your thoughts are, and uh, I'll take another look at Battle of Omni, see if there are any decks I can build. We have our first Nokia Shiramine. Uh, the, it's a three cost white tamer, and on play you may play one Agumon or Gabumon from your hand without paying its memory cost, and on your main turn, when digivolving one of your Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand with Garurumon, Omnimon, or Greymon in its name. You may suspend this tamer to reduce the memory cost of that Digivolution by one. I actually think that's really good being able to... Whoa! Omnimon Zwart! Okay! We are looking for this card. I definitely think that uh, Lilithmon Loop is going to be a huge, 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 huge um, 
thing to be playing and to be considering during this upcoming format along with yellow so purple and yellow about to dominate the format but Omnimon Zwart really really good card really glad we got into this one um, hopefully we can get into a regular Omnimon 2 with the blitz effect all right very very cool the left side I feel like in Digimon card game the left side of the box maybe that's the move all right we got a Karamon we've got a Sayakomon a Kyubimon a Black Growlmon uh, we have the Triceramon, Palmon, this is a really good Palmon, on deletion, place one Palmon from your trash under one of your green Digimon at the bottom of its Digivolution cards. This is good because you can actually get rid of this one and you can either put the Jamming Palmon back or you can even put this Palmon back under as a Digivolution source for some Digiburst effects down the line. We have the Supreme Cannon, so to go with the Transcendent Sword, we have the Supreme Cannon, a blue option card with a cost of three on your main turn. Return all of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less to their owner's hand. If you have a Digimon in play with Garurumon or Omnimon in its name, return all of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DP or less to their owner's hands instead. Trash all of the Digivolution cards of those Digimon. This is actually pretty good because the new wave of blockers, I'm pretty sure, only have 5,000 DP. So to be able to just wipe all those blockers off the field, um, pretty much ensuring you have game if you've got it, is just really, really good. All right, our first rare, ooh, Mega Digimon Fusion. Really, really good card. It is a white option card, meaning that you need to have another white card out, whether it be a Digimon or the more likely option is going to be having the Tamer out. But Mega Digimon Fusion on your main turn, it is a no-cost option card. The next time one of your Digimon Digivolves from a level 6 to a level 7, so we're talking from pretty much any level 6 until what is going to be one version of Omnimon or Millenniumon or uh, Valder Arm. Uh, reduce the memory cost of that Digivolution by 6. At the end of the turn, return the Digimon that Digivolved with this effect to the bottom of the owner's deck. Trash all of the Digivolution cards of that of that Digimon. So really, really cool. Just like going in, trying to get maximum value out of uh, out of your effects and trying to pretty much go for game, it feels like. All right, we've got a rare Terriermon Assistant. Actually, a really cute looking card here. Uh, it has an effect of Digiburst 1, so trashing the level 2 underneath it. Reveal the top card of your deck. Add it to your hand if it is a green Digimon card. Otherwise, place it at the bottom of your deck. So unfortunately, Tamers and Option cards are not going to make it uh, into the hand with that Terriermon Assist, so you just don't want to waste resources like that. I feel like there's just better uh, better Digiburst options for green. Alright, we have Koelamon, uh, Kodamon, Garurumon. Ooh, what does this Garurumon do? When Digivolving, if this Digimon has Gabumon in its Digivolution cards, gain one memory. Wow, okay, so making it a cost one, which is good. And then it has an Inheritable. Uh, while this Digimon has Garurumon or Omnion in its name, it gains plus 1,000 DP. A nice little boost to uh, get you over some, some maybe security checks. We got Gabumon. This is a good Gabumon too, if I remember correctly. It's the same idea as the as the uh, the good Agumon. We have Spiral Masquerade, a really interesting uh, yellow option card with a cost of four on the main turn. For each Digimon you have in play, activate the following effect: one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus three thousand DP for this, this turn. I really like this because it allows you to spread it out. So if you have like five Digimon, you get to activate this effect five times, and that is you don't have to dump it on one Digimon. You could spread it out to try and get the most of it. Ooh, this is a really nice looking Rosemon. Digiburst 3, uh, all of your Digimon with Digiburst gain security attack plus 1. I feel like green is really just focusing on an OTK build. Alright, we've got a Wear Garurumon Sagittarius mode um, on your turn while a Digimon card with Wear Garurumon in its name is in this Digimon's... Wait a minute. It's a level 5. Interesting, okay. Um, this Digimon gets jamming. Hmm. I have to look into this a little bit more because it can evolve from both a level 4 and a level 5. This is something new that we see with uh, Battle of Omni is this being able to digivolve from two different ways. So, really, really cool card. Ooh, we have a Hexa Blaumon as an SR. So, we are, I believe, so we're down the secret. We're down three SRs. I think we've only got maybe three SRs left and an alternate art is all that's left in this box but let's go ahead let's head a little bit faster than this because we are uh, starting to reach the 15 minute mark and that is quite some time so let's go through it here so I'll have to read these effects a little bit later we have this Marimon that is cooking we have more cooking with the Weedmon here is this cooking or maybe it's just eating but really really cool artwork nevertheless all right we've got the good Agumon Black Mock Gaugamon we have the Sunamon, Infermon, we have Neptunemon, our rare is going to be, what is this, 
Whistling? Oh man, I definitely did not say that right. And uh, Black War Greymon as our two rares for that side there. So we're only halfway through the box. So we gotta we gotta really start pumping out the iron here when it comes to uh, getting through these cards here so that we can go through all of it. All right. We really want a Sequiamon, to be honest, because I really thought the uh, the Megas of that season were actually really cool. Gallantmon, um, gosh, I'm, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting the bunny. I'm forgetting the bunny here. It, it wasn't like, ooh, Boncho, Boncho Lilymon, really cool card. Um, I'm forgetting, it's, is it Mega Gargomon? I think it's Mega Gargomon. All right, we have the Waru Monzemon. I can't believe this is a rare. What makes this card worthy of being a rare? There's no effects. It's a... Uh, Five hard play and then a two evolve. I have no idea what makes that a good card. And then we have the Izzy and Mimi card again. Really hoping we actually get some of the Ty and Matt cards. Really, really good for the Omnimon build. Um, and it is a white tamer as well, being able to give you options that are also white. And it's it's just a good card. It's a good card in general. So hopefully we don't just get a lot of uh, duplicates on our rares that are not good rares. And we can start getting some really good ones there. All right, we've got the Metal Greymon. Oh boy, Alterus mode. And then we also have a Diaboromon as our two rares on that one there move some of this stuff to the side here so we are almost done with the left side of the box here let's keep going along here so i think before i open up the next box i'm going to want to read into these cards a little bit more kind of figure out what the strategies are aside from a uh, lilithmon loop and lord nightmon which is i hope hopefully another sr we've got coming our way so lord nightmon and uh omnimon are the two that i'm still hoping we can get into here uh, let's see here. We have the Takumi Aiba, which is another white tamer. Really, really good card here. And then we also have a Sequiamon. All right, there we go. We asked for the Sequiamon, and then we got it uh, pretty shortly after saying that. All right, let's see what we've got last of the left side of the box. So maybe maybe if I ever just opened into booster boxes or just bought packs out of a booster box, I'd be like, is this from the left side of the box? If not, I don't want it. <laughs> Ooh, Nightmon. Again, super good for the Lord Nightmon deck. We have the GG Mon, Superstar Mon, Absolute Blast, Argomon. Argomon's a really interesting card in the Digimon TCG. And then an Earthshaker as our final rare on the left side. Let's move to the right side, see what we got here. I wonder if my uh, my other box is going to work out the same way, where it's going to be the left side is just packed with the secret and then uh, a bunch of other good stuff there. We have the Daramon, uh, Paeldramon, Royal Nuts. What does this even do? I mean, actually, we're not going to read it. We're not going to read it later. We'll read it later on our own time. All right. We've got the Chris Paeldramon, Sunomon. Ooh, Tai Kamiya and Matt Ishida. This is a good white tamer that we're looking for. And an Arata Sonata. I think that makes the whole crew right there. I think we got all of the... Uh, I think we got all of the... They're the Cyber Sleuth crew, if I remember correctly. I haven't been able to play that game, but I heard it was really, really cool. All right. We've got the Cooking Marimon. We've got the Cubimon. Marine Devimon, Pilomon, Meteor Shower, Ultimate Flare, Agumon, Fake Agumon Expert. So to counter, you know, good Agumon, there's Evil Agumon. Revive from the Darkness, uh, Neptune Mon, uh, oh boy, Belucomon, ooh, and a Chaos Gallant Mon. We are getting a lot of purple in this box. Lots and lots of purple. Our secret is purple. Three of our SRs are currently purple. So lots of good stuff here. I think I think it's telling us we got to play purple. If our second box has a uh, Omnimon's Wart, we're just going to go play purple. That is that is the move. <laughs> the move is to play purple. All right, we've got a Kurisarimon, a Gasomon, Taumon, Troopmon, Floramon, Supreme Cannon, always a good card, Jokermon, Shoutmon, Zanbamon, Pikmon, Mega Digimon Fusion, really good card, and a Megadramon. This one's actually just a rare, but the artwork on that looks absolutely amazing, as if it was actually an SR. The only thing it's missing from being an SR is the foiling. All right. Moving down the line, we've got a Karamon, a Coelamon, Pilomon, Marimon, a Garbage, straight up Garbage Mon. It is just straight up Garbage Mon. Gladimon, Ultimate Flare, Gabumon, the good Gabumon. You can't actually fly the Inframon, Metal Garumon, and and we have three of these. How do we have three of these? Are there not that many rares in the set? It's so strange. Why couldn't we get three ties and mats? I think that would have been like a better power play there. All right, we've got the uh, Musiamon, 
cute mon, straight up just cute mon. Um, we've got the Black War Growlmon, uh, Siakomon, Palmon, Rowdy Rocker, Piximon, Greymon, Yokomon, Transcendent Sword, the Sequiamon again, and we've got a Metal Garurumon. This one is actually going to be a Black Metal Garurumon, so I don't know if we're going to hit... So I think we're actually out of luck when it comes to getting Lord Nightmon and Omnimon in the same box here. So let's go ahead, sleeve up this Metal Garurumon here. If I can find the opening to this sleeve... Did this sleeve even have an opening in it? Okay, there it is. <laughs> Just struggling with the opening here. But we do have a Black Metal Garurumon... I will definitely read that later, but it is not one of the more prominent cards of the set, if I remember this set correctly. Um, the big ones are really just going to be Omnimon, Lord Nightmon, and then that Omnimon's Wart going to be the biggest players, I think, coming from the SRs from this set. Alright, we've got the Kodamon, Monochromon, Black, uh, what is it, Black Galgamon? We have the Meteor Shower, Black Mock Galgamon to go with that other one. Shooting Starmon. We've got a Rosemon, a Shademon, throw in Shademon, and then we've got Metal Greymon, uh, Alterius Mode, as well as another Nokia Shir Shiramine. This is actually, I think if I remember this correctly, this is actually going to be a really good card for pretty much any Omnimon build or any, uh, any of the next set, the Double Diamond, where we got the Bonds of Friendship cards. Bonds of Friendship and Bonds of Courage cards. So I'm actually really looking forward to that set. I really want to build something with uh, the Bond of Courage and the Bond of Friendship. Maybe not in the same deck, maybe two separate decks, but really looking forward to Double Diamond as a set. We've got Koromon, the Boncho Lilymon, Absolute Blast. We've got a Black War Greymon and a Metal Greymon. Man, we've got three of those Metal Greymons. All right, how many we got left? So we should have an alternate art as well as one SR left in our box here, if math serves, but we'll find out. I actually don't know the true ratios on this box, what they actually are. All right, we got a Floramon, a Karamon, a Coelamon, a Nightmon, Supreme Cannon, Yokomon, a uh, Chris Paldramon, the Shoutmon, Omni Shoutmon, and a Megadramon, so our second Megadramon there. So I feel like we've actually been getting a lot of duplicates when it comes to uh, rares, but we still have a few rares we haven't even hit. I think there's a TK and Kari that we haven't even hit yet. Merimon, Garbagemon, Musiamon, Agumon, uh, Piximon, Royal Nuts, Rosemon, Gigimon, Shooting Starmon, another Ty and Matt, we're all for it, and an Omni- <laughs> oh wow okay all right all right let's oh boy oh this is oh wow what what a card to draw oh no look at how good that looks i know i'm using a webcam to record this i know i'm not using like a professional card camera but wow look at that omnimon it is the alternate art for omnimon with blitz wow Wow. Oh my goodness. What a card. I actually like this alternate art of Omnimon a lot better than the BT11. Um, I just think its stance is cooler. It looks like it's fighting. If I remember correctly, this is a two part card, and you could see it because the two part cards have the Omega symbol right at the bottom right here. So you put two cards together. Oh my goodness. What a card. What a card to pull. Holy smokes. That alternate art Omnimon, y'all. Whoo! Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Now we should only have one. Oh my gosh, I can't get over that Omnimon. That Omnimon just looks so good. If we get another if we can get another Omnimon or a Lord Nightmon, I think this box is gonna be a huge success. A huge awesome opening success. We got a Sunamon, we got a Were Garumon Sagittarius mode, and a Lord Nightmon! Oh my gosh, what a box. What a box. Omnimon's Wart, Omnimon Alt Art, Lord Nightmon. What more could we possibly ask for from this box? Oh my goodness, what a crazy box. All right, I don't think there's anything left, um, unless there's seven SRs. I feel like I haven't been keeping tabs on how many SRs are in a box, but let's keep going through it. We got the Kodamon, the Monochromon, the Black Galgamon, uh, Marine Devamon, Meteor Shower, Garurumon, Greymon, Boncho Lilymon, Fake Agumon Expert, Rainamon. Rainamon's a rare? Interesting. 
and a uh, Catastrophe Cannon. Oh my gosh, I, I can't get over that Omnimon, y'all. I can't. I've always wanted, I feel like Omnimon, just a staple child of the Digimon series. And to get the alternate art, oh my gosh, we love it. We've got the uh, Mechanorimon final pack. We got a Triceramon, we got a Paledramon, Weedmon, Jokermon, the Ultimate Flare, uh, Black Mech Galgamon, uh, Tsumamon, Chris Paledramon, a uh, Blazing Storm of, literally a Blazing Storm of Metal, and on the card you can see War Greymon and Metal Gurumon going at it, with apparently a Terra Force and a, uh, I think it's Howling Crusher. Alright, we got a Metal Gurumon and then, and a War Greymon? Ooh, a Shoutmon DX, not a Shoutmon XD, it is unfortunately the Sad Face X, uh, DX, but, okay, alright. I guess it's still 7. I feel like I heard it was 7 at one point, but it's super good to see it as 7 still. Um, so, Shoutmon, another really interesting card. Again, it can Digivolve from two different sources, so it could be a level 6 red for 2 memory, or a level 5 red for 4 memory. Memory. It has Blitz on Digivolving, and then when Digivolving, you may place one red Digimon card from your hand at the top of this Digimon's Digivolution cards. Then for each Omnimon or Omni Shoutmon or Zigreymon in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DP or less. Really, really good card because you can keep evolving into Shoutmon DX as you can get a bunch of Digivolution sources underneath it. So, really sweet card. Let's do a quick recap of all of our stuff. Um, I'm going to try and sort this in a way where we're going to look at it just epically. Epically from what we got. Alright. Alright, here we go, y'all. So let's go through our recap. So in terms of our SRs, we've got a Tactimon. We've got a Metal Garumon. Whoop. We've got a Hexablaumon. I should have thought this through more. We've got a Shoutmon DX. We've got a Chaos Gallonmon. A Lord Knightmon. The Omnimon Zwart, our secret was the Omnimon Zwart defeat, and of course, our favorite card in this entire opening, the alternate art Omnimon. I know it is only an alternate art of an SR, but I don't really care because it's Omnimon, y'all. Look at how sweet this Omnimon looks. But with that being said, that is the end of this opening. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I'd be happy to answer when I have the time. I currently don't have anything for Digimon in my Discord yet, um, but based on how this goes, if I want to keep pursuing Digimon for actual content and not just opening uh, packs, maybe I will do something in the future about that. But with that being said, that's the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, until next time, take it easy.